Welcome back for another video on the best YouTube channel ever. Today's video will be about a life that had been lost from the war between Eastside Riva and the 1200 block East Coast Crips in Riverside County, California. Eastside Riva is a well-known Hispanic gang in Riverside County, California. The East Coast Crips are not just in LA County, as they are also in Riverside County, the 1200 East Coast Block Crips to be exact. When black and Hispanic gangs beef, it's not uncommon at all for civilians of both races to become targets by warring gangs, whether intentional or mistaken identity. During the summer and fall of 2002, the war between Eastside Riva and 1200 East Coast Block Crips was at an all-time high. On the afternoon of October 5, 2002, Zehu Serrano was driving around Riverside in a pickup truck with fellow Eastside Riva gang members Daniel Salgado, Jesus Gomez, Ricardo Ruiz, and Robert Ariza. At one point, Zehus's group stopped at a liquor store, and while they were there, a red Camaro pulled into the parking lot. Nothing amiss transpired at the liquor store, but Zehus's group suspected that three African Americans in the Camaro might be members of a rival gang known as the 1200 East Coast Block Crips. Therefore, they started flashing gang signs, and Zehus followed the Camaro as it left the parking lot. Sensing danger, the Camaro's driver, Tyshawn Gudry, tried to lose Zehus by speeding through several red lights, but he couldn't get away. When he slowed down to make a right-hand turn, the truck pulled alongside him, and Salgado fired five or six shots at the Camaro. One of the shots fatally wounded Gudry's 13-year-old brother, Marcus Lancaster, who was in the back seat of the vehicle. Jesus Gomez allegedly said that he tried to convince Daniel Salgado to not shoot because there was kids in the car that looked young, specifically Marcus, but Daniel did not care and shot at the car anyways with bullets hitting Marcus. Gomez also claimed the people in the Camaro were flashing gang signs, and at one point he saw front seat passenger Raymond Atkins duck down and reach into the compartment of his door. Gomez said that when he saw this, he yelled out, I think they're reaching for something. However, Gomez admitted he never saw a gun in the Camaro. He also admitted Atkins did not duck down until after Salgado had already extended his gun outside the window of the pickup truck. Travis Lawson was working outside his house when the shooting occurred. He said that after hearing the initial shots, he looked up and saw a black man hanging out the window of a car firing a handgun in the direction of a pickup truck. However, Gudry and Atkins testified no one in their car had a gun and the results of their gunshot residue tests were negative. Gudry and Atkins admitted they and Marcus Lancaster associated with the 1200 East Coast Block Crips, but they claimed they were not gang members themselves and did not flash any gang signs prior to the shooting. Zehu Serrano was convicted of conspiracy to commit murder, first degree murder, two counts of attempted premeditated murder, shooting at an occupied vehicle, discharging a firearm from a motor vehicle, and two counts of unlawful gun possession. Zehu Serrano was sentenced to life in prison without parole. Jesus Gomez pled guilty in exchange for a sentence of 25 years to life in prison. Ricardo Ruiz was convicted of murder and sentenced to life in prison without parole. It's not clear whatever came about Robert Ariza as his disposition was not made clear and he wasn't found in the CDC inmate search. The shooter, Daniel Salgado, was convicted of the murder of Marcus Lancaster and two counts of attempted murder. Daniel Salgado was sentenced to life in prison without parole.